Okay, let's talk about Tesla's newest software update. Now, I know I'm a little bit late to this party because it's been about a month since the software update has been out, but the reason I wanted to take my sweet time with this is that I didn't want to just read through the patch notes for you guys. If you guys are kind of bored and you want to do that on your own time and you want to do some light reading, you guys are certainly capable of doing that yourselves. And the major reason for that was that I wanted to show off my three most favorite or most fun or most exciting new features of the update that I would be proud to show off as a Tesla owner to my friends or family or whoever. So if you're someone that's thinking of buying a Tesla or already has one or you just enjoy these kind of videos, then stick around because this one's gonna be kind of cool. So let's start off with the addition that I love playing with, which is the megaphone. And it's exactly what it sounds like. It's basically a megaphone built into the car that projects your voice outside of the car when you speak into the built-in mics. And honestly, this is just a lot of fun to play with and to kind of mess around with people. Um, it's really cool. It's obviously only available in park for legal reasons. You don't want to be driving around on the streets yelling into your megaphone at like traffic and like other people and stuff. But we're going to test it out right now. And you guys are going to see it has some serious Darth Vader vibes to it. The voice that comes out on the other end. So let's check that out. Luke, I am your father. Luke, I am your father. Like and subscribe to Airbazu. Like and subscribe to Airbazu. So pretty cool. Um, this can also be done remotely through the Tesla app. So you don't even have to be sitting inside of your car to do this. So you can kind of just yell at strangers or talk to people as they walk by your car but basically you go into the tesla app you turn on sentry mode and there's this little mic icon that appears in the bottom right and you can hold on to that and kind of speak into your phone and whatever you say the car will project and this is an example of that seriously go subscribe seriously go subscribe next up we have something tesla calls the light show now i'm gonna be pretty straight up this has no practical use whatsoever other than going up to your friends and being like hey check out how my car can needlessly waste battery by playing music and turning its lights on and off but it was one of the headlining features in the software update so we're gonna sit here together and it is one of the newer functionalities of the car so we're gonna watch the show together and we're gonna sit through what tesla calls the light show And finally, you have le pièce de résistance. Okay, yeah, so in case you didn't know, I speak a little French. But basically, Tesla has added one of my most favorite and classic childhood games to their game library. And just a bit of a disclaimer, you'll need a controller. Any controller works, I just use my PS4 controller. Um, but you'll need a controller to play this game and if you read the title of this video then you obviously already know but they added the classic Sonic the Hedgehog game to their games library 
So you can literally play Sonic while sitting in your car now. And honestly, I was so hyped on this when I was going through the patch notes. Like I literally forgot everything else when I saw that they added the Sonic the Hedgehog game because I was like, all right, this is the only thing I'm going to do now whenever I sit in the car if I'm waiting for somebody and I had to try it out immediately. And I can very happily confirm that it is the full classic original game and it is a ton of fun. I've lost more time than I'd like to admit inside this car playing that game. Okay, cool. So those are my top three new additions by Tesla into their vehicles through the latest software update. If you guys want to see more Tesla videos, definitely hit me up in the comments. Let me know. I'd love to do them. Um, but other than that, yeah, drop a like for this video. Subscribe to the channel. It's all I have for this one. And so I'll see you guys in the next video. Until then, keep creating.